we want what we see other people having. We're Mm -hmm. imitating, we're mimicking Mm -hmm. what we see out there. Mm -hmm. And we have largely lost our ability to imagine, Mm -hmm. to think of something that is, that transcends the things that all of our friends are doing, the clothes that all of our friends Mm -hmm. are wearing, the vacations that all of our friends are taking, the careers that all of our Mm -hmm. friends are endeavoring to, to master. Mm -hmm. What's Mm -hmm. your take? What's your take on that? Does, does the science, does the research support that? And you know, how do you think about it? As soon as you started saying that I was, I was nodding in, in agreement because I do believe that what is laced also with the fathoming step, the imagining step, Mm-hmm. Uh, we're judging ourselves already. So I think that the idea about comparisons baked into that for sure. I think comparison um, or inspiration, we could even conflate this because I think sometimes inspiration, like, you know, let's debate hotly, you know, the benefits and the perils of social media. I think sometimes uh, you could see a friend and they are um, in the, on the Croatian coast and you could be like, well, first of all, um, you may you may have feelings of jealousy or envy, but then sometimes that might turn you into like, wait a minute, we haven't taken a trip like that in a long time, and that might be cool. And so sometimes those are helpful nudges to help mm-hmm. inform. I want to do that. I want to add that to the top of my list. But back to this idea about where we can't blast past that mm-hmm. is that usually we get into the headspace of, uh, yeah, but like while we're imagining. We talk ourselves out of an idea before we even give it a chance to figure out the how. Because I agree with you, the how we can hire people for the how we can figure we can we usually can figure stuff out, and it's usually just like literally taking one step. So if we could just relinquish the judgment about, well, what would what would my family say, you know, if I did quit this job and go back to school? Okay, also like, what if you fucking didn't care, you know, or like, what if I what if you just skipped over the emotion and said. This is something that I think would be great. I'm not going to worry now about what others would think. I'm not going to worry about what I think about me. But if again, back to, we got to pull up the big guns. I'm on my deathbed. Am I going to be, am I going to be thinking, oh, I'm so glad I didn't try. Or am I going to be thinking, I'm glad I tried. And you know what, maybe even if it didn't work, which is really one of the things we're afraid of. Yeah. Well, is there not a distinct pleasure in giving it a go and feeling proud that you maybe even learn something from it, even if it wasn't astoundingly successful, according to whatever metric you've just made up, mm-hmm. that most people would feel like they'd rather have been associated with trying and skinning their knees and getting back up and then getting to the next cool thing than living a life. Like the the unlived life is something that actually contributes to death anxiety. And I don't do a ton of work in anxiety or grief around death. It's more just about the concept of death in this momentum mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. But the, re- the the research is just so uh, fascinating to me that a cool side effect of getting on with it and giving our dreams a try is that, oh, yeah, if you happen to have a little bit of anxiety about death, it's probably going to be ameliorated a little bit because you're going to at least feel like, oh, you know what? I gave this life a go. Like I, like I showed up for it. It's the sneaking suspicion that we're leaving life on the table that often makes us feel like, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about death. I don't want death to come because I know I'm going to be so busted at whatever my pearly gates I'm getting to or on the deathbed or whatever. I'm going to be busted about like, okay, here's my list of 98 things that I just didn't go, didn't try. 